Well, we enjoyed a mild January day, another one, but now rain is on the way. Yeah, have that rain gear handy. Meteorologist Kate Bilo is here with your next weather forecast. Tell us about it, Kate. Well, Yuki and Jess, I feel like I've heard a lot of rumblings lately of people saying, okay, enough is enough. We're ready for winter. What is up with this 50 degree weather in January? I know some of you are still loving it, but let's take a look at just how warm it got today and what's up next. Because while it is still mild and will stay mild through the seven day forecast, we may have a slightly better shot at seeing some wintry weather as we get into next week as things get a little bit more seasonable. Right now, high temperatures across the map. Uh, this was earlier today. Our highs today, look at these numbers 55 in mid January in Philadelphia, 58 degrees there in Wilmington, 57 in Millville. Almost 20 degrees above average. We should be in the upper 30s to around 40. Your next weather story, it stays mild into tonight, which is good news, as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, because rain will get here by daybreak. It's going to rain all day and rain into the night. There will be some possible mixing in the Poconos or some freezing rain, which could lead to icing concerns there, but it does dry out by Friday. So once again, here's the system headed our way. This big rain shield moving in. I think for the first half of the day, it's mainly coming down in the north and west suburbs. The city on north, heaviest rain early, and then once the cold front starts to pick up the pace, it'll fill in a little bit further south. As far as our rain chances are concerned, again, we're looking at Increasing potential for rain through the overnight and into tomorrow morning, up to about 60% by 6 a.m., and just increasing throughout the course of the day. So, tonight, our low temperature 38 degrees, increasing clouds, rain by daybreak, and tomorrow, on and off rain all day long. Some steady rain in the morning. There may be a little lull as the warm front rain lifts north. The cold front rain then comes in by afternoon. So both commutes impacted. You're impacted coming and going and everything in between tomorrow. 47 degrees will be the high for our Thursday. As we get into Saturday, now Friday dries out. Friday is a above average day, upper 40s to near 50. Saturday, we're looking at mid 40s. Great weather for the Eagles game. Better than it's going to be Sunday night. So it's a good thing this is a Saturday evening game. 40 degrees at kickoff, 38 at halftime, and 36 by the fourth quarter. But we have two more to track. And what I want you to notice with these two systems is how the snow gets a little bit closer. Tomorrow's storm is all rain. Sunday into Monday, this is looking like it's all rain as well. This will come in Sunday night into Monday. The snow gets a little bit closer, but it is still mild enough that it's mainly rain overnight into Monday morning. It's the second storm next week that has a little bit of a better chance. This is Wednesday, and you can see this has a potential of starting out as a little bit of snow before it changes over to rain. But look how close the snow gets on that one. We have seen Goose egg, 0.0, .0 inches of snow so far this January. We've never once had a January in history in Philadelphia since records have been kept in 1873 with not even a trace of snow. Will we get through the month with no snow for the first time ever? It's looking like next week may bring us a chance to at least pick up a little bit. That day would be Wednesday. Until then, it's dry Friday and Saturday, rain Sunday night into Monday, and temperatures still above average each day through the seven day forecast. Yuki and Jess, back over to you. And Kate.